What perfect weather for exploration. Yes! Island explorers! Let's find the exit first. Now I'm counting on you, all right? If you see anything... Yes! I'll keep my eyes piled! Peeled? <laughs> we say keep my eyes peeled. Oh! That's horrible! It's... <laughs> yes, it's horrible. This place is for house personnel only. Sorry. House personnel? They're like our servants back home. This place truly is something. It's so big. I would get lost. I could get used to it. Would you be a countess? Oh, no. Too many responsibilities. To you. Good day. Thank you. It's gonna be a hot day. Oh, you're right about that. I can't imagine having to wear that helmet. Well, things got a bit rough yesterday at the harbour, so... Yes, I heard about that. Better safe than sorry. Is that the way out? I suppose. Let us this dad. You can tell the Count is rich. How? He's too many pawns. <laughs> that is very true. <laughs> Hello, can we go outside? Sure. Enjoy the brighter days. Slept well? Sophia, hi. Nice to see you. How did you know? Where you'd be? That's my life, sweetheart. Wake up early, observe, listen, and make the best of it. That's how I discovered Arno is in jail. Yes, that bastard. He betrayed us. And worse, he used Hugo. What kind of use could he make of such a tiny creature? Or... Are you more useful than you look like, little one? I'm not joking, Sophia. Arno may be your friend, but he almost got us killed. So you spent the night celebrating his capture with the Count of Provence and his wife? No, I don't care about them. I kneel to no lord, Sophia. No count, no king, no one. I only care about him. All right. I hit a nerve there. I was teasing you. I'd just like to know who my friends really are. And I like what I hear. Come. Let's take a walk. Yes! I took some time to wander around this morning. Do you know where you're going yet? Not yet, no. Take your time. Weather's just fine. People are partying. Even the guards are quite nice. This is why we're not in jail already. Shouldn't we go out on delivery now? We still have time. The feast is this evening. I'm pretty sure they haven't started cooking. from your dream. Almost. It's funny. It looks like it's looking at something. Oh, a treasure hunt. Already? Well, let's see what he sees. So, a dream and a bird. Hmm. Hugo's been dreaming about this place a lot since before we came here. And each time there was a bird. All right. Why not? Yes, another bird. 
bird. You're right. So what's this one looking at? Only one way to find out. Everything's so different from Guyen. Even the smells. Yes, it smells hot. It's never hot in Guyen. Not in the same way. I trust you. might be in there. Oh, there's another one. Let's have a look. You see, if you crush them enough, it will perfume clothes and fabric. That way you smell like flowers. Yes, you'll be like a little something lavender. Look at this beauty. It must be so old. How old? An olive tree. Thousands of years, I'd say. Really? It's all twisted. Is it sick? On the contrary. It's strong. It adapted. She's right. It's been shaped by time. It's seen so many things. It has scars, too. I love it. Then tell it. It will listen. I love you. <laughs> I'm sure it loves you too. Let's go? Yes. Going to the fertility site Hello there. with my wife. Hello. Yes. Hello. Maybe this year will be the one for us. I hope so. You both deserve the child's blessing. You ready? Just about. I don't want to miss the ceremony. Just looking at that sculpture. Oh, well, don't let me stop it. I can't see the next one. It must be hidden behind that small hill. Onwards! Hmm, these youngsters chasing rocks instead of gold. <laughs> May his reborn flame light up our. <laughs> they look so happy. They are. I hope this afternoon's ceremony will be successful. Yes, the feast is going to be magnificent. This child seems to be really kind. He must be, for them to be so loud about him. Oh, I wish I could see that ceremony. Wear one of those robes. Are they even aware of what's happening on the continent? They have to be. Hence the drinks. This is all nice, but wouldn't the church consider it utter heresy? Yes. You have to be a cow to take that kind of risk. This island is pretty remote. I guess that helps. And there's no eye gold can close. One more! Say, that's a large family of birds. Imagine if it led to a real nest. No, oh, it's something meaningful. It has to be. I'm sure it is. Back to hunting birds. Oh, can we go and look inside? Why not? Let's try. Tell me, why this fascination with windmills? They look like giants with funny turning shields. Oh, what's that crank? It's probably a brake to stop the windmill.
climb up. Yes. care of it, Hugo. All right. Up we go. Mind the drop. Yes. Maybe it will start the windmill. You heard that? Something moved. Yes. It didn't seem close, though. Strange. things like this. It's typical in Provence and the surroundings. What is it? Some symbolic passageway? 
The question is, to where or what? Hmm. Intriguing. A magic hole! I say this letter is an invitation. That's old. Feels like the place was used not so long ago. It looks like a goblin's home. You're the only goblin here. Then you're a witch. <gasps> How did you know? Hugo. Yes, I'm sure there's treasure down there. You know what, kid? I think you're right. My hands are getting all tingly. It's a sign. Holy damn. Is, is it real? It's real. As real as a smuggler's lair. A bloody good one. Hell, who built this? It's amazing. You think they're still here? It feels abandoned. That's the thing. The more amazing you get, the more likely you are to die. Oh, the treasure! What is that? Jewelry? A bracer. It's antique. Wear it! It fits. <laughs> it's too good to leave it here. Keep it. Yes! It's your treasure now. I don't know why, but I feel stronger. It's magic moving. <laughs> All right, let's go back before some smuggler ghost comes shouting at us. Can we go back to searching the butt? This place is amazing. It's my favorite. I must say, I could see myself living here. And what about a nice house with a garden? I'm happier when people can't see me. Yes. I'd like to live in a cave too. Lord, I'm walking around with bats. I'm more of a lizard, I think. A bat lizard! All right. Why not? Grow so many flowers. Maybe their child of embers actually has some power over this island. I would love to make flowers grow like that. I would love to make gold grow like that. Gold doesn't smell good. <laughs> All right, you won. Yes, thank you. They're like tiny boat sails. They take the wind and off they go. You fly if you catch one. No, <laughs> not even you. I want one. Oh, 
Yes, people who can't have children oh, come here here to be blessed. Hey, that's sweet. I heard the countess is the one. I'm sure there's a way to change that. There may be something useful in there. Good. I should hide. I wasn't like this before. It's fine. What do we have here? Let's see what can be done. Some sort of uh, antique theater? Yes, it looks important. <clears throat> oh. Now let's see. And the child of embers. There may be more under that grass. Are we going to cut it? Too slow. I should be able to clear it all at once. The island. It's a map of the island. It's antique. I'd say hundreds of years old. Probably Byzantium? There is a lot of those around here. That's the drawing! What drawing? The drawing of the order! Yes! I see it! What order? A very ancient order of alchemists. You overheard us on the boat, Sophia. Hugo is sick. It's not contagious. Still, the Order wanted to lock him away to do whatever they pleased. But I... But you kneel to no one. I get it. So, what did you come here looking for? Whatever can help him. It's simple. If this symbol indicates important areas... That one... Well, that one is pretty hard to miss. The teeth! They're called Las Madres, the mothers. Oh. I know, boring. It makes sense. Let's go visit those mothers, then. Those teeth. Are you coming with us? If you want me to. I told you, I owe you. Come on then. Yes, we are gonna climb. The view from up there must be quite a sight. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Come on, up. Oh. Yes. Look, 
There's a house in the teeth. Yes. Some kind of uh, temple? Sanctuary. That's what I've heard it called. And now I'm even more curious about it. So, this is our first stop. It seems so nice. So we've got a magic bird, an ancient order of alchemists, the deadly one has visions. <laughs> well, just what else can I expect? Hugo's sickness is special. Our mother's an alchemist, but she couldn't do anything about it. It's almost like a curse. Who could curse such a cute baby? I'm not a baby. It's the bloodline. This thing goes back to the dawn of times. It's unfair, but this is real, Sophia. In Guyenne, the Inquisition came after us over this. We barely made it here. It was horrible. They killed everybody. Damn. All right. We'll find what you came for. You have my word. Thank you. That's it. The path to the sanctuary. So we're done here for now? Yes. Let's go. It's gonna be quite a walk. First to the top! Hey, easy, I don't want to carry you! Chicken! Are you tired? We've been walking a while. It's not as high as it looks. Don't be disappointed. We're not there yet. <laughs> looks like someone's more tired than you. <laughs> I don't like mountains. Everything I need is at sea level. I like mountains. They're big and tall, so when you're on top of it, you're big and tall too. You know, it's his first time climbing one. Well, in that case, let's be big and tall together. Damn, it's getting hot. Oh. Look, we're almost at the sanctuary. Do you know what almost means? Come on, it will be worth the sweat. Look at the size of it. So what do you expect to find up there? I want to see the real bird. Or the tree, or the pond. I prefer an elixir. Something to really help you, Hugo. Maybe the bird will have it. Oh, spring water. How can he run in this heat? Child skill. He can also fall asleep in a snap. <gasps> mm, it looks so fresh. It is. Just what I need anyway. Hey, Hugo, you have some dirt on your face. I'll get it for you. Ah! <laughs> Water attack! Hey! <laughs> Counter attack. Roots, all right, Hugo. all right, all right. I yield. You poked me to death. I win! <laughs> <laughs> A sailor defeated by water. You shot me in the eyes, all right? I did it on purpose. <laughs> That's my brother. Talk about family. Well done, Hugo. I'll have my revenge. Tree is huge. Yes. Carving that must have hurt. Oh, goats. There are lots of Misia. Don't be scared. They much prefer their olive leaves to little children. Yes, but they scream. I'm here. 
Well, well, well. Our fierce warrior is afraid of goats. There are too many. You're heading to the child sanctuary? We are. Oh, I'm afraid you're too late. They closed the gate, as you can see, for the ceremony. See? Oh, we came all this way for the little one. Ah, oh, well, that goat path to the side will take you closer, but you'll have to look from afar. The Count and Countess are up there, and the guards are on edge since yesterday's mess. They won't take kindly to uninvited guests. We'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Oh, by the way, if you stumble on Tramontan, please send her back here. This is one of my goats. We'll try. Good luck, then. I hope she won't attack us. Oh, come on. It's a goat, not a wolf. But they scream. Oh, they do. Oh. So they locked down the sanctuary. Just our luck. On the bright side, you don't lock a place down if it doesn't hold something important. Yes. I'm even more curious now. Listen. Is that the goat you talked about? Tremontaine. Yes. Inside this house, maybe. Locked. Are we going to help her? That's what heroes do. All right. There may be another way in. She's here. <laughs> we should send you back to your owner. Goats. I stared in their eyes for hours when I was a child. You can't know what's going on in there. She may just not be ready for their knowledge. an actual rescue mission. I really hope she's nice. I'm sure she'll be thankful in her own way. This is not going to lock her up again, won't we? Don't worry. You have two strong women to protect you. So, here's our fugitive. You saved her, Hugo. Want to say a proper hello? Hmm. I'll go with you. You've done the difficult part. Don't startle her and it'll be just fine. What if she screams? Screaming's not biting. Just say to yourself, it can happen. And that's all. I'll try. See? It's easy. They don't all scream. Yes. She's nice. All right. <coughs> She's saved. You've overcome your fear. And I want to see that sanctuary. Let's go? Yes. Go. Your dad's waiting for you. She's not moving. She will. She's her own master. <laughs> There wasn't any goat in your dream. No, but maybe there will be now. Who wouldn't want to dream of goats?
thank you for your offerings. Sorry to push you out. Come on. Uh, all right. Hmm. So, oh, no problem. Make sure no trouble arises. Yes, we had enough violence yesterday. The child must have hated it. We'll be especially careful. Don't worry. Good. Well, thank you, Anna. That was to be expected. How do you feel, Hugo? I feel funny. But good. I'm sure there's something inside the mountain. I feel it too. Well, I'm trusting you both. Everyone, it is almost time. Gather round, please. It's the Count and the Countess. It seems we're right on time. Up. Honored that you wear it. Keep it for when we see it. Yes, I'll give it back home. We need to jump down. We're still uh -huh. waiting for a few latecomers. Feel free to come closer in the meantime. Latecomers? I'd say that's us. What are we going to do? Friends and children, today marks the longest day of the year. The light of the summer solstice shines upon us once again. And yet, in these cold hallways, hidden from the sun, the child of embers still slumbers. It is time to bring the flame of the phoenix, the phoenix. to his dormant That's embers. Your bird. Thus will we prove that we deserve to care for him. Like mother. Like father. Let us pray together before we enter. Come. What do you think? Bold, but believable. Are we dressing up? Open your mind and heart. It is now time to tell his tale. 
so that it is never forgotten. What do we do? Let's follow them or not. And do what they say. They must recognize us. Sarah. Come on. Centuries ago, a child was born on this land. His heart was blessed by the sun, from which he inherited the flame that rules everything. And so was born the child of fire. What? His flame shone over the world. He blessed it with his perfume, his laughter, his joy. Of all places, Lacuna was his home. It became a land of life and peace. A place to heal, to thrive. Lacuna became a cradle of light. But light tempts evil. And evil knows no mercy. Come. A child on a throne, in an order temple. It's him, the child of Enders. Take your place at our sides. Look, the drawing. It's the carry of the macula. That fresco was in Mother's laboratory at home. Please kneel. Evil found the child inside these very halls. It fed on his fire, weakened it, marked his flesh with coal black scars. His mother's arms couldn't warm him anymore. And so his light faded, almost entirely. And the child of fire turned into the child of embers. Lord. A dark era began. Men forgot about him, but we did not. This flame is the last gleam of his light. Our hope, and now two of you, a woman and a child, will carry it through his night. You. Your heads are bent. Your humility honors you. You will walk his flame through his darkest hours. Take it. You will walk in his steps. Know the cold that bites the flesh, the drowning in the absence of light, the uncertainty. You will see the child die through the eyes of his mother. You will be the victim and the witness. Keep that torch alive at all costs. The carriers have been chosen. Take your places. What do we do? We have to play along. Let's cross. Go forth and bring him the light. Much depends on it. This is unreal. <sighs> it's us for us, The plague. They think it was caused by the child's death. So they don't have a man killer. I don't think so. They interpreted all this. They made a god out of the carrier of the macula. Alicia, the water will put out the torch. I think it's part of their ritual, drowning in the absence of light. back and your torch is gone. You are not alone anymore. The child must meet his mother again. His embers glow in the dark. I am the mother, and I welcome him. Pass it to me.
You did well. The child must rise again. Hear me, child. I am not barren anymore, for your flame lives in me. I am the mother. Become the phoenix. The child of fire reborn. Join us. Blow on these flames. <gasps> Reignite his flame. Kidding. A child's throne. He he left here. Their child of embers. There's no child members. I told you about the order. This place belonged to them. And this child on the frescoes? It's the carrier of the Prima Macula. The Prima Macula. This just gets better and better. Alchemists call it the first corruption. It awoke in Hugo's blood when he was a baby. It keeps growing inside him. And it's killing him. That's what this whole place is about. The advent of a carrier of the macula. The order gathering around him, studying him, trying to find a solution. And the rats. Let me guess. Death, war, disease, and famine. Not only. The rats are... Anyway, they got it all wrong. There's no child of embers will come and save the world. It's a fantasy they crafted to fit their hopes. All of it sounds like a crazy fantasy to me. Part of it is true. The part that can save him. The only part that matters. Basilius and Aelia. Nothing's changed. Water's not magic. The water? Oh, from the healing pond in your dream. It's like a symbol. Like mother's alchemic joints. Stagnating water is rarely magic. Hey, come see. That's his throne. And this, I think, is his name. Basil? He was a carrier, just like you. You're not the only one. That's why you dreamt of all this. Something called you here, and for a good reason. I mean, look at this place. If there's a cure, it has to be here. And who is Aelia? It looks like there is more to this place behind here. Let's keep looking. Come. I'm sure there are extraordinary things waiting. 
What's all this? Are we the first to come in here? Oh, a tent! You're right. It looks untouched. Too sacred for them, maybe? Hey, do you know whose room it is? It is! It's Basilius's room! Just imagine. He was living here, playing here, sitting where you sit. Isn't that astonishing? Yes! And he loved tents, just like you. You love tents? Me too. He had a phoenix. Yes. Maybe he dreamt the same dream as you. Let's see what else he left us. a lovely horse. It's your size. Pretty sure he was your age. Yes. So that was his bed. Beautiful. This Basilius was treated like a king. Maybe he was a king. King Basilius. in the order? They're villains. I think he shot at them with this ball here. Hmm, <laughs> makes sense. Boys. I like this game too. Come, we've barely started. Run. Not just any warrior. Look at the shape of the armor. Toys. He was coming here to play with her. And she let him. She was the best kind of knight. I would have loved to meet them. What of it? It's a lady's armor. Oh. Alia. This is her room, of course. She was his protector. Protector? The carrier's personal guard. Like me, Fahiko. She looked strong. Sword and spears. Wow, look at the axe too. I wonder if they were put to use. They built this place to avoid it. The carrier draws attention. Valuable, tiny creatures. Look, wax tablets. They're carved. He drew her. And there, he drew himself with her. He loved her. It looks like they spent a lot of time together. Just like us. This is so strange. It is. Let's keep on. Sorry, boy. But no! 
That explains why it stands above the child on their frescoes. They thought they were better than him. They didn't care about him. It doesn't change why we're here. Come, let's finish this first, right? <laughs> be damned. What's this now? An alchemy laboratory. Can we go back now? But it looks exactly like what you're searching for, no? Yes, but... No, you're right. Look for anything that could lead to an elixir. A, a potion, like books, drawings, maybe raw materials. On it. Even know what it's used for. Come on, give me something. There's nothing much. Oh. A phoenix. Look for a phoenix. What were they making in these things? God, give me something, please. This is all centuries old. What do you expect? Empty. No. What the hell? Hey, quieter. You'll find something. Uh, sorry. Lucas would know. He would. Hugo, did you find something? This table. They put him on it. Wait, I'm coming. This is all useless. Please, I need something. Um, I think the little one needs you, Amicia. Yes. An Athenor. <sighs> no. Whatever's been cooked in there is long gone. This place is crazy. Something's wrong? I'm sure they hurt him, too. Hey, I know things aren't turning out the way you expected, but... Nothing ever changes, Amicia. But Aelia wouldn't let them hurt him, right? You... You let for done? No! I... I tried to stop it, but... I, I know. You tried. Sorry. Sophia? Where are you? Upstairs. How did you get there? Look behind the curtains. Come on, Hugo. What is this? No door. Some sort of observation hallway?
What have you found? Your alchemist library. Looks like they were observing the child from here. Like he was in a cage. We're right above the laboratory table. It's wrong. Imagine these bastards standing there, looking at him. We have to focus on what they learned. I may have a lead. Any mention of a cure? No, but they took other notes. about Basilius. They're in Latin. Oh, I can't read it. I can't. Come look, I think I've got something. What is it? Your alchemists wrote down everything that happened to the carrier. It's sorted by date. The last entry was in the year 541. 541? What does it say? I haven't studied Latin since the convent, but it talks about Basilius. And, uh, um, Aelia Dragus, his protector. It really did all happen. They were just like us. What happened to them? The Order took away the carrier from her. She rebelled and was arrested close to a round tower. They took her to a, a, a capella, a, a chapel, inside a fort. And Basilius, where is he? It doesn't say. Well, we have something to go on. A fort, a round tower. They didn't come sooner. Yes, let's get out of here fast. Putrid water seal our determination. To stand by your side, day and night. I feel your sickness. I share your pain. We will protect you. We will care for you. I am the father. I am waiting for you. I am the mother. I am waiting for you. Join us. Whenever you feel ready, we are. Oh. That's pretty unpleasant. I'm 
wish you could have seen my dream. At first it was scary, but you would have seen the flowers. Keep talking about it, please. The tree smelled so nice. It had branches like hair. It looked so gentle. Go on. And the water. It felt like you could clean anything. But not like this one. That's nice, you got Bloody nice. That was no. Spend a full week at sea with my crew changes your notion of stench forever. That was enough for me. Let's go to that fort. Hugo? There was no fort in my dream. Maybe, but your dream put us on the right track. Look at all we've learned. Now we just have to find out the rest. Don't you want to know what happened to that alien? And your ancestor? It's going to be all right. Take these stinky clothes off now. Yes, we should. <laughs> <laughs>